All right, everybody, welcome back to Chin Fat. Uh, this is this video is part of a series here. Uh, if you've missed the first series, you can go to the playlist here and take a look at, at the playlist. Uh, go to my channel, uh, youtube.com slash chin fat, and look at the 35 millimeter to digital uh, post-production workflow uh, playlist, and you will find uh, this series if you want to start at the beginning. But in this one, we're continuing the process where we have encoded all the DPX files to ProRes 4444 files for uh, that, that's a... a, a a, a much easier uh, format uh, to work with within editing software. The DPX ones have been around for a long time, uh, but they're still really good files. They're still very high qualities, and they're, they even has more information uh, in them than the ProRes uh, 4444 files uh, do. So uh, with this, this is the previous project here that I was working in to do that DPX uh, export. These files are re re reading the individual DPX scans. It's basically like individual still files that, that scanned every individual frame off of the film strip. So I am going to close this project here, and we're going to start a new project. So yes, I can save that project, and we're going to start a new project that we're going to be doing for uh, proxy. So I'm going to call this the proxy export project file here. I'm going to import those files that have been encoded uh, to ProRes 444. So now we're going to get the, the ProRes files imported into this project. And those are the files that we're going to be using here from here on out. Uh, so I'm going to grab all these. These are the ones that were named here. I'm going to hit uh, Control-A to select all. I don't need the extras here. I'm just going to grab. And I don't even really need well, um, So I'm going to open those up, import those files into Premiere. And now that these are in Premiere, I'm going to hit tilde over this, open up the window. And these are all the ProRes files, the MOV files now. Uh, in each one of these files, these are all the ProRes files here. So they're the same resolution, the same frame rate as the previous clips. And now we're going to export out these, these out to proxies. These are the ones that we we're now going to be using. We're going to ignore the DPX from here on out. Those things are now are basically gone to us. I mean, I'm keeping a hold of them just in case, of course, and backed up. But these are the files that we will be working with in color grading. So we're going to create some files that we're going to use for editing. And they're basically going to be mirrored files, but they're going to be much smaller files with the exact same name, exact same time codes on them. Uh, but these are just going to be, there'll be smaller versions that we can use to do the edit and it'll be a lot smoother and quicker to do the editing with something smaller but these here retain like the full quality of the color that has the 16 bits per channel color data so so these are going to be very very large files in fact if we look at the uh the folder size compared to the dpx files these files now equal about 156 gigabytes instead of like 1.2 terabytes now. So essentially that, that brought the size way down and they've got 16 bits per channel. So they're really, really high quality color uh, that we can do some really good color grading on. But uh, what we're going to do is select all these and we're going to uh, turn them into proxy files now. So I'm going to uh, hold down control and hit M to command M on a Mac. And I'm going to go up and we're going to maintain uh, the QuickTime uh, setting here. And I'm going to pull this down and we're going to do ProRes proxy files. And this will make the, bring down the file uh, the file size significantly just so we can do the edit. The visual quality is still going to look really good. It's just going to, going to be a lot smaller and a lot less color information uh, so we can edit them quickly. Uh, so some changes we're going to do here, of course, we're not going to export audio because there's no audio on these files. So we want these to mirror the original files, essentially. Some of the some of the settings we want to mirror the original settings. Next source, we're going to go down to uh, width and height. We don't want this to be the, we don't want this to be 4096 by 2336. We're going to cut that in half. Let's cut our resolution in half. So I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to look at half of uh, 4096. So 4096 divided by 2 equals 2048. So we're taking these down to 2K files. And if we have this locked, it'll bring this uh, the height down proportionally. So once again, that's 2048. So I'm going to click in here and do 2048, and it'll proportionally bring down the height size to match the aspect ratio. There we go to 1168. And now that is quite literally half the, half the resolution. Uh, frame rate's going to be based on source. Everything else is based on source. We're doing 8 bits per channel, so it's going to be much uh, lower quality. And there we go. So everything there is pretty well set. Or proxy, so the uh, the data right here is going to be a lot smaller. Uh, so one other thing that I kind of like to do with my proxy files, just so it's easily you can easily recognize these as proxy files, is I'm going to burn uh, a time code window into them. Um, so I can click on that, or you can even burn like a watermark into them if you want to. I just quickly do a time code window and then we know that it is and we will know that that they are proxy files because you'll see a time code window burned into the bottom so i'm going to uh, go to effects the effect tab here from video to effects tab and i'm going to scroll down and find time code overlay so i'm putting the time code overlay you can put it bottom center size i'm going to turn the size down just a little bit to 10 uh, perhaps and and uh, opacity is fine 
and now it will just burn that time code into the bo into the bottom of uh, of the proxy file, so that when we open them up, we'll easily recognize these as all all these files as the proxy files as opposed to the the high me high quality media. So I'm going to hit Q, and all these files just got sent over to uh, Media Encoder. I'm going to uh, hit Control A and select all here, and we're going to go to the name here. Click on one of these names to change the location. And I'm going to go to my folder and I'm going to call this one, make a new folder and call this one proxy. And I'm going to call it TFS taste for something and then select folder. And now my location is the proxy folder. So now I can hit play, I'll start encoding these. It will start burning. You can see it's uh, right there. It's kind of hard to see, but it is burning a uh, time code window into those as well. So I'm going to let this go and then I'm going to come back and we're going to take a look at our proxy files.